Bennett. He is a toy poodle puppy and he is going to get an adorable teddy bear kind of fusion inspired trim. Uh, he's not going to have flared legs. It's going to be more of a straight haircut, um, but very cute. Yes, very, very cute. Yes, he is very, very cute. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. He is wearing the groomer's harness in the tub along with the tub anchor. This is great for puppies. It helps to keep them right where we need them. What a good baby. He is at an age where he is teething, so I'm being very gentle around his face. He's getting a nice shampoo and conditioning treatment with iGrum products. Use a good quality ear cleansing solution in the ears. I fill up each ear canal with the solution, rub the base of the ears, and allow the dog to shake its head. And I wrap the puppy up in a nice warm towel and get him straight to the drying table and dry him off. For an anxious dog, a trip to the groomers can be a traumatic experience. Fortunately, some groomers work hard to provide a fear-free grooming environment. At its core, fear-free grooming practices are about patience. Many dogs find the groomers stressful because they are being made to do things for strangers that they normally wouldn't. Simply slowing down the pace of the grooming can allow a pup enough time to adjust to the process so their anxiety calms down. In most standard grooming situations, you can expect a single groomer to work with your dog. This undivided attention can work wonders to relieve anxiety in anxious pups helping them to calm throughout the process. For this reason, fear-free groomers often limit restraint. Humane restraints are a common tool during the grooming process. They aren't typically used to hold down a dog, but typically to prevent them from moving too much during the process. Unfortunately, any use of restraints can make an anxious dog more fearful. Treats and praise are the two main motivators for most dogs, so they are often used together during a fear-free grooming session. Many dogs have dietary restrictions and allergies, so we do request that pet parents bring in treats to our salon with the dog. Yes, yeah, see, it's not scary. 
No, he's not scary, Dan. No, it's okay. Oh, is there supposed to be a treat in my hand with that, Dan? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is it? Look, okay, we're gonna put the treat here. Here we go. Good boy. So his mom was smart. She brought soft treats that are easily broken up into itty bitty treats. These are perfect for training and desensitization to the tools. The practice of rewards and praising helps forge a bond between the groomer and your dog. You can check to see if your groomer has fear-free certification. This is a specific certification awarded to vets, vet assistants, and groomers that take special training for working with highly anxious animals. I'm going to trim the pads of his feet with a 40 blade. The certification means they have been specially trained in how to relieve the fear and make the pet feel at ease so you can be assured that they have skills and knowledge to help your pet through the grooming process with as little anxiety as possible. Check out fearfreepets.com for fear-free certification. The Poodle is one of the oldest of breeds. In the hundreds of years of its history, the breed has changed very little. Perhaps this is why Poodles are considered more civilized than other dogs. Whatever size you like, you must realize that poodles require much more attention than other dogs. They must be bathed and clipped periodically, for if they are not cared for, they become shaggy. <laughs> I'm going to use a 10 blade on his tummy and around his eyes. I'm going to take a treat, put it right on top of the clipper. Let him take it from there. Good boy. Now, he's at an age when he's, where he's teething, so I don't want to hold the head too tight. So I'm just going to take the back of the clipper, rub it on his cheeks. Stretch the skin over the eyes back and swipe. Rub again, swipe, rub again, swipe. Good boy. Now we'll do the tummy. Good boy. I'm going to use a 7F blade under the tail. Can you sit? Sit in it. Wait. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. brush the hair down around the feet and scissor off anything that falls below the pads. The Toy Poodle is the smallest of the three Poodle breeds, Toy, Miniature, and Standard. While the exact origins of the Toy Poodle are unknown, it's believed that this breed was developed in Germany, where they were used as water dogs and companions. Now we're going to brush the hair down around the feet and scissor the feet round. Toy Poodles were brought to France in the 1600s, where they quickly became popular among the upper class. In the 1800s, Toy Poodles were introduced to America and have been one of the most popular dogs ever since. What, you think you deserve another cookie already? I think you should work for it. I think you need to take a break on the cookies for a minute. You're gonna get stuck. 
you're gonna have too many cookies and then you're gonna have a full belly. Yeah, can't have too many cookies. He says, what are you talking about, Mr. Sam? Of course you can have too many cookies. He says, look at your belly. Look at your belly, Mr. Sam. You've been eating too many cookies. Yeah, Mr. Sam's been eating too many cookies. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Too many cookies. Yeah. Too many cookies. Joy Poodle is a descendant of the Standard Poodle, which is thought to be a cross between a Barbette, a water dog from France, and the German Water Spaniel. The Standard Poodle was originally bred as a hunting dog, but their intelligence and trainability soon made them popular as a companion dog as well. So we're going to take off quite a bit of this hair on his body. I'm going to come in and trim the top line, take half off. Toy Poodles are active dogs and need plenty of exercise to stay healthy and happy. A daily walk or a play session is a great way to keep your Toy Poodle fit and healthy. Toy Poodles are intelligent, active, and playful. While they may be small in size, Toy Poodles are big in personality. The first thing you should know about a Toy Poodle is that they are extremely intelligent. This means that they are quick to learn tricks and commands but it also means that they can be quite mischievous. They are active little dogs and their playfulness sometimes gets them into trouble. However, their loving and devoted nature makes them wonderful companions and they will quickly bond with their owners. Puppies generally know who their owner is within a few weeks and they will typically become attached to one person in the family. They thrive on human interaction and love being a part of the family. Toy Poodles are intelligent dogs that learn new tricks quickly. They enjoy showing off their skills, so training is a great way to bond with your Toy Poodle. They are easy to train and excel in obedience and agility trials. Toy Poodles are good with children when properly socialized. They are active and playful dogs that enjoy playing games and roughhousing. However, because they are small dogs, they may not be suitable for families with very young children who might accidentally hurt them. Very nice. He's a good boy. You stay. Toy Poodles are generally good with other dogs and pets when properly socialized. They may chase smaller animals, so it's important to introduce them to other pets at an early age. Toy Poodles are generally friendly with strangers and make great companion dogs. However, they may bark when they feel threatened or uneasy. Toy Poodles are small and delicate. They require gentle handling and should be socialized early to prevent them from becoming timid and fearful. Alright, we're going to switch over to his face and then go back to the body. And we'll lift up his ear. Scissor off the hair under his ear. Hmm. What's happening? All right, we're going to take this chest hair down. They are also known to be very active and playful, so they need plenty of exercise and mental stimulation to prevent them from getting bored or destructive. Good boy. So his mom wants a short chin. I'm not sure that a five will take off very much, but we're going to try with that first. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Good boy. So I'm using a seven. 
and I'm taking the hair off his chin. Good puppy. That was very good. Oh, what's we gonna do, huh? I don't know what we're gonna do. Get all this hair off of you. <laughs> she showed me had a fusion style oval shaped mustache his mustache isn't long enough yet to create that look it had a medium short scissor top knot slightly defined between the top knot and the ears but a more teddy bear look with blunt trimmed ears we're not going to trim the ears at all this time. He's too little. He doesn't have enough hair on his ears. They're too tapered down from natural growth. So that'll wait. And we have to wait on the oval shaped mustache for the most part because he doesn't have enough hair. Good boy. See? It's just your hair. It's okay. And the pet parent was smart to bring in a picture of the goal that she wants to work towards. I appreciated that. Sometimes it's easier to trim a puppy if you hold them up on their hind legs like this or straddle them across your arm and hold them up like this to scissor them, especially if they start getting tired. Toy breed puppies are used to being held anyway, so this is actually very comfortable for a small dog, small breed puppy, because they're used to this. It's one of their happy places, actually. <laughs> and he's getting tired, so you can also hold them this way. And just kind of brace them. Stop making me laugh. I got work to do. Yes, I got work to do. Tired, huh? I need a nap. I'm almost done. They are active, intelligent dogs and make great companion animals. However, they may not be suitable for everyone. So it's important to make sure that it's the right breed for you and your family. Taking my curves backwards up along the back side of his head. Let's see, we need a little bit bigger pair of curves. Need 
took his sticking again. Again? Good boy. Stay. You're so stompy. You're stompy boy. Although poodles were originally trimmed for occupational and hygienic reasons, when it became the custom to trim them in more outlandish styles, the flair of the French emerged. During the reign of Louis the 16th, the art of poodle trimming became extremely decorative. Dog barbers worked along the banks of the Seine River and in the streets of Paris, and no clip was too outrageous or difficult for them to perfect. The barbers cut out coats of arms, lover's knots, monograms, and fleur-de-lis in the poodle's hair, and ornamented them with mustaches and imperials, small pointed beards on the underjaw, or high pompadours similar to those worn by the ladies of the royal court. Clipped poodles appear in 18th century English engravings and paintings resembling their French cousins. Poodle trimming became more popular in England as the years passed, and by Victorian times, it was a full-time occupation for some. In the past, the poodle was divided into two varieties, corded and curly, the difference being one of coat type. The corded poodle's coat hung in long, coarse ringlets from the body, ears, and tail. The cords, often more than 18 inches long, covered the front legs like a skirt when they hung naturally to the ground. To keep them from dragging along and attracting dirt, the cords were often tied up in bundles with leather straps or ribbons over the dog's back. A great deal of time was devoted to maintaining the cords. They were seldom bathed and had to be oiled frequently to keep the long ends from becoming brittle and snapping off. I am using 22 tooth chunkers to help smooth out this soft puppy coat, which tends to show every scissor mark. Today, most poodles no longer retrieve for a living. Two variations of the old lion trim the English saddle and the continental with long mane coats over the shoulders, ribs, and chest, and shorter scissor hindquarters still remain the only acceptable adult trims for the show ring. As a young poodle may be shown a puppy trim until 12 months of age, but then must be trimmed in either of the two recognized styles. The art of poodle trimming has blossomed into a sophisticated profession throughout the world, especially in the United States. In addition to traditional clips, there are hundreds of pet trims in which the poodle's coat can be clipped and scissored into various patterns and leg styles. These are called pet trims because they are not acceptable in confirmation show rings. Along with many different clip styles, great advances in equipment and products have been made in the last few decades. Did you know that poodles have hair, not fur? What's the difference between hair and fur, you may wonder. Fur grows up to a certain point and then falls off, what we know as shedding. Hair does not fall out and never stops growing.
Poodle hair, like human hair, can respond to hormonal changes in the body. Female poodles can experience hair thinning or loss after having puppies. Poodles are among the smartest of dog breeds. Their intelligence and eagerness to please make them great service dogs. Poodles are also employed as guard dogs, assistance dogs for people with other physical disabilities, and therapy dogs. They have been utilized as truffle hunters due to their keen noses. Huh? You want to get dressed up for the holidays? Oh, you do? Okay, let's go get you a Halloween bandana, let you shake it off, and take a pee break. Come on. So I've got a small triangle of material. I've got 3 8 inch cross grain ribbon. Using my glue gun, we're just going to put a nice strip here. Normally I outline these in black. Because he's so dark colored, I want it a little brighter. And I would imagine he has a nine inch neck. So we're gonna cut this about nine and a half inches. This is five eighths inch stretch elastic. So this turns our bandana into a cute little stretch collar. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Please share this video wherever you can. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Can you try? Sit. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. <laughs> Down. Good boy. Wait. Stay. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, that's all you get. That's it. That's all you get. That's all you get.